Where are we going? To get our braces taken off. Where are we going? <laughs> to get our braces taken off. <laughs> Oh, honey! When I, when I tell you it's been eight years, sorry if I'm a little dry. And so is your scalp. Anyway, I'm getting them taken off. Oh my gosh. I was contemplating on whether I wanted to show my family as soon as I get them taken off. Nobody knows. So. I'm contemplating on whether I should show them that I got my braces taken off or wait and see until they notice. Honey, I don't know, but uh, I'm going to try to get some footage when I get to the establishment. Because this is a monumental moment. Momentous. Yeah. Yeah. I'll see you when I get there. Now, okay. let me ask you this. Yes. How do you save this recording? On my phone. You have a YouTube channel? Mm hmm It's just my first and last name. You tell people what's on your mind? Oh. You have a blog? I just show them, like, do you know what a vlog is? Like a day in a life? You just show them, like, what you do so you can take them along with school. A blog is uh, what you're thinking, right? Yeah. Do you have followers? No, not that much. I'm just now starting. I, I might do that myself. <laughs> you should. There are a lot of orthodontists on YouTube that have a channel. Really? Uh huh. You should. We're gonna get famous. Close on your back teeth. Mmm. Mmm. Are scary. you recording now? Yes. Okay, Tina, you have a green light. Thank you, Dr. Joseph. You're welcome, Shell. <laughs> it's a little bit sad for me, Shell. Why? I'm happy. Okay, good. I'm overjoyed. <laughs> All right, good. <laughs> okay. All right. So I'm just going to take this flyer and just go around the bracket okay. and close. Okay. Okay? All right. All right. It feels weird. I know. It's been a long almost. time. Yeah. Really? Oh, we still got to get the oh cement off. <laughs> I'm not going to know how to act after I this. know, right? It's so exciting. All right. Let's just Let me see what you got. I didn't even tell my family, so nobody knows. Really? Mm -hmm. oh, I was gonna surprise them and put them in the video. They're so funny. Yeah. Oh man, that's gonna be exciting. Mm -hmm. Okay, pause. When she started taking these caps off of my back teeth, let's just say I'm glad we had on masks, because baby, <laughs> the stench, <laughs> eight years worth of funk, basically. Don't try me because I brush my teeth, but baby, them caps covering my back teeth.
Wow. Right? Wow. It's not too soon to get them clean like tomorrow if I wanted to. Okay. Alright, I already made up. Okay. Okay, good. Oh my goodness.
even know how to smile regular no more. already know because your smile was different how what are you doing but chill out chill out oh you got them off what how do you feel they straight up them up though you got them off got them don't off. scream back on the side of civil doing? liberties by deciding to make in 1863 lincoln signed the emancipation <gasps> proclamation to end slavery in you the got your brights out you little weird <laughs> any kind of hot water um they're plastic so we can melt them okay just make sure you're rinsing with like i said just clear water i mean just cold water um always keep them in your case never wrap them up in a napkin or anything like that that's how they get thrown away okay um, I'm gonna go ahead and put them in. Put the top one in first. <laughs> How does that one feel? Is it too tight anywhere? <laughs> That's a snug fit. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna feel tight, especially yeah. the first day since you've gone without them for about 24 hours. But it's it's good though. Pinching your gums anywhere mm -hmm. or anything. Okay. Put the bottom one in. Same on the bottom. It's not pinching your gums anywhere. Mm-mm, it's mm, fine. No? Okay. It's gonna get a little used to wearing them when you talk. You're gonna notice you probably have a little bit of a lisp when you're talking at first. Okay. Um, when you're taking them out, you never wanna pull from the front. It can crack them, so you always wanna kinda go towards the inside and the back. Uh -huh. Pull right there and it'll loosen it up so you can take them out, okay? Okay. Um, and you said where I'm um, every day, all day, except from when I'm eating, drinking, Drinking anything that's or brushing my teeth. Yeah, you can drink water with them, but anything that's got sugar and stuff, it can decay that the retainers a little bit. Okay. Um, so just with sugary drinks, coffees, and like that, just take them out while you're drinking them. Okay. Um, and if you can, rinse with rinse, your, rinse with water before you put them back in. If you drink anything sugary. Okay. Um, just because it can trap those sugars up in your teeth and cause cavities and stuff like that. Gotcha. Um, how um. How long do I have to wear them consistently? Consistently, <laughs> like, yeah, that list. No, yeah, yeah. That, um, for three months. So he'll three see months. you back in three months, and okay. that's when he'll be able to gauge if you're ready to go to just nighttime wear. Oh, okay. 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 Oh, wow. You didn't have any big gaps or spacing, did you? Uh, I don't think so. Okay, so mm -hmm. you'll probably be good to switch to nighttime wear at that three-month point. Okay. Um, but I can go ahead and schedule an appointment for that if you want me to go ahead and do that. All right, y'all, we are leaving the orthodontist. Just got my retainer. Feels a little, um, I don't know, it doesn't hurt, but it's definitely a snug fit. And I'm gonna go over everything once I get back home. Lord, I feel like I'm gonna have a lisp. Yep, see, there you go. <laughs> All right, y'all. <laughs> okay y'all so i got hungry and this is going to be my first time taking out my retainers and she said to pull from the back not the front because i can crack them <laughs> it didn't hurt, it was just a snug fit. I got okay. Snug corn. Now I'm about to bust down on these mozzarella sticks. I'll see y'all. Hey. Alright y'all, so I'm going to answer a few questions about my braces, mm. the whole process, the taking the braces off, the retainer process, everything like that. And... Hello, Mr. Panda. How are you? He will be helping me answer these questions. So the first question may be, how long did I have on my braces? 
don't judge me, but I had my braces on for probably about eight years. Um, I got them on my first day of high school, and I am currently a senior in college. So, you do the math. Tell me what you get. Um, the reason being is because my teeth were a little messed up. Insert picture here. And because I missed a few appointments. Well, probably more than a few, but, you know. I was working while in high school, of course, working while in college, and I chose to go to a college that was an hour and a half away. So it's difficult, like, making appointments and going to class at the same time, having to drive an hour and some change every month in the morning. And then my orthodontist is set up to where they only are open a few days out of the week. And just so happens that it took eight years to get to this. <laughs> um, having braces, I just got adjusted over the years. They did hurt when I first got them. I had to get a palette expander during my first few months of having braces because I guess my teeth were really small or my teeth were I didn't have enough space in order for my teeth to shift up top so they ended up putting a palette expander at the top of my mouth and I had like a little key but I had a little key and I would have to turn it ever so often just so it can like open the space up in my mouth at the top I hope that's a good explanation for y'all, but I had the palate expander and then I had to have spacers in my back teeth. And then after that whole process, it was just me getting the um, wire changed and getting the colors changed pretty much. And then um, I would get the E-chain. Um, I hope y'all know what that is, the E-chain where it's not like a single colored rubber band. It's linked, so it's like a chain. I had that and yeah that's what I've dealt with for the past eight years basically um but yesterday was my lucky day I got my braces taken off um I didn't tell anybody I was getting my braces taken off it was kind of like a surprise but I got them taken off uh, the whole process with taking my braces off it didn't really hurt but it was a lot of pressure because of course they glued the bracket onto your tooth so it just felt like pressure when they were taking that tool and trying to like clamp down. After that, they drilled away the glue. They got the, the molds for my teeth for the retainer yesterday. And then I had to pick up my retainer today. So that's the footage that you guys saw with her inserting my retainer for the first time. And when she said you're going to have a list, at least for me, I know I have a list. I have them in right now. And she said I need to keep them on basically all day, every day, other than when I eat and when I drink drinks other than water and when I brush my teeth. And I was a little curious about like the care of the retainer. And she said basically you can take like um, wash that older people use for like dentures and put it in the cup. Make sure it's not hot water because the retainer is plastic and you could melt it and destroy the shape of the retainer then of course you would have to get a new one but she said just put it in like room temperature or cold water and put like a little denture cleaner tablet in a cup and put your retainer in there or either you can just take your retainer out and brush it with your toothbrush and your toothpaste like you would do your regular teeth so chances are I'll probably do that um this is the case she gave it to me in. And I don't know if y'all can really see it like that. Yeah, y'all see it. The retainer. And I also got my teeth cleaned today. Now that, I did that on purpose because I already knew I was getting my braces off. Um, and I'm glad I did it that way because my teeth, like my gums were a little bit inflamed. So I'm glad I got them clean. Um, the dentist... She said I didn't have any cavities. I never had a cavity, so, you know, I wasn't surprised by that. But she just cleaned it really well. Um, and she gave me a good behind goodie bag that I have on my bed. Um, a soft bristle toothbrush. And she said this one is special because the bristles, they like flare out. 
Honey, you can't see that, but anyway. Honey, no. Anyway, so these bristles is a soft bristle toothbrush and the um, bristles flare out. So she said when you're brushing, you want to make sure that you're like brushing up in the gum to get all of that gunk out and to use a soft bristle toothbrush, especially for the time being because you just got your braces taken off. Then she gave me three tubes of the Sensodyne toothpaste. Mind you, do y'all know how expensive the Sensodyne is? But I... She gave me three of them, which I'm really grateful for. And it's the Sensodyne toothpaste for sensitive teeth, gingivitis, and cavity prevention with fluoride, sensitivity, and gums in the flavor mint. Now, before I had went to the dentist, you know, I felt like I had to do a little bit of teeth shopping. So with that, before I even knew she would recommend Sensodyne, I ended up getting the Sensodyne Complete Protection Extra Fresh. And it helps with sensitivity, cleanliness, gums, freshness, plaque, enamel, and whitening. So chances are I'm going to switch from, what do I normally use? The, I think it's the Crest. And I'm going to just use Sensodyne, especially for the time being. Um, then I also got these placards. I prefer these rather than flossing. It's just too much of a hassle. Give me a placard. She also gave me some floss. And she gave me some mouthwash for my enamel. She said we need to strengthen my enamel basically and I just got my braces taken off. And to use the mouthwash that's kind of purple, try not to get the ones that's blue or any ones that have alcohol in it because it really doesn't even do anything. She said this one has essential oils which kills all the bacteria that we're afraid of. So use this one and she gave me two samples. Then she also gave me some dry mouth. Um, I don't even know if you consider this candy. Honey, I don't know. But anyway, she gave me some of these. Because she said she gets dry mouth and she likes to talk a lot. And she gave me some so I can try them out and see how I like them. But that was very sweet of her. So that was a nice little goodie bag. I will be putting that to use. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much like the rundown and my case for my retainer. I didn't know if you had to like order your retainers because you know I had my razors on for eight years, but I had asked her if we only get like one set, and she said, Yeah, one set should be enough for you. Um, it, they do wear out over time, but this one should last you a good while. And the orthodontist said that um, we're going to keep wearing this consistently, the retainer, for three months. And then we're going to come back and see if I can um, transition to only wearing it at night. So, we're going to see how that goes. So far, so good. My teeth don't really hurt. Um... It's just a list and me getting used to having something in my mouth. But overall, I am satisfied with my results. I have a nice little smile. <laughs> I should have put on some chapstick, but <laughs> I like my results. I really do. I really do. My mom and my brother went to um, Dr. Joseph Orthodontics. That's who I went to. Their results look amazing. Of course, they didn't have theirs on for eight years, but I say max theirs was two to three years. And that's because they were more consistent than I was. And I actually had a friend that went to Dr. Joseph as well, and his results turned out great. So I definitely recommend 10 out of 10. <laughs> I don't know, it's just, it's weird because I feel like I still kind of have braces on and I be scaring myself when I wake up in the morning and I open my mouth and I'm like, hmm, no train tracks today, no train tracks today. And I still catch myself like eating from the side and trying to be cautious on my braces, but no worries. You don't have them on anymore, sweetheart, so let's give it a program. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Peace.
go with your brother.